Hi, Cindy here. So today I'm going to show you how you can use a hot fix applicator to put rhinestones and studs on all kinds of fabrics from jeans and shorts to cloth purses or some vinyls, nylon, stuff like that. So um, what we're going to do today is I'm going to show you how I did these jeans and did this pocket and that and then the back. So I'll go over step by step how you use the applicator. Um, other projects I've done, just to give you some ideas, is I did this backpack. It was just plain black before, so it just kind of spruces it up some. Um, I've done all my shorts this summer. Just all kinds of de designs. You can either make your own designs or um, sometimes you can buy some different patterns and and iron them on but otherwise it's fun just to come up with your own ideas and do your own stuff as you go. I also did my denim vest. In fact I have a few vests I've done um, by adding the hot fix stones on. Um, the only fabric I wouldn't do the hot fix embellishments on is leather. I wouldn't use them on leather or vinyl probably uh, because they just don't stick. I don't know what it is about leather. They're great on fabric but they just kept falling off the leather no matter how much heat or how long I use them for. Uh, what your best bet is is to use uh, the prong studs and I have a how-to video on how to do those instead. As far as tools go, obviously you need to have the hot fix rhinestones. You want to make sure they are the hot fix, meaning there's some glue on the back. Your best bet for clothing is to go with some type of crystal or glass. Don't go with the cheaper acrylic because once you've washed it and dried it, it will cloud up and look pretty bad. The acrylic is okay for using on belts or shoes, stuff like that. Anyways, besides that, perhaps a pair of tweezers. And this is uh, a hot fix applicator. There's many different brands out there. Um, this was just one I ordered off of Amazon. It came with three tips, but I find that this is the tip I use the most for almost all of my work. To change out a tip, they just simply unscrew, and then you can screw a new one in like that. These get really, really hot, so you'll have to use a pair of um, tweezers or pliers or something if you ever try and switch them out while it's already been heated. If you end up needing to do a large area, sometimes it's easier just to line up uh, like a whole pocket or a whole area on your fabric and use a small, uh, this is a really small iron I actually just picked up at Target. Um, and then at, after you set them with the iron for about 30 seconds, you can use your hot fix tool to kind of press them in and really seat them in the fabric. All right, so I have this uh, pair of faded black jeans. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm gonna put a bunch of uh, just the silver studs on this small pocket. All right, so I've laid out my first row. You just take your applicator and you want to gently, but firmly, press it. I hold each one for about 10 seconds. That's really about all it takes once the um, hot fix applicator is heated up. You really want to press it in firmly so that it adheres to the fabric. That way when you go to wash it, um, they won't, you won't lose them. You might lose one or two the first couple times you do a wash, but after that, they usually set really well and, and they should be able to be washed without continually coming off. Okay, so now we have our little pocket done. 
and on to other things. So next I'm gonna use, I think this third size here of the clear crystals. So I've laid them out. You can't really tell in this light, but these are just plain silver. And then I have the, the clear, uh, the shiny crystals here. starting to look really nice. Now obviously depending on your taste you can do a lot more bling than I'm doing. All right now I'll do the other pocket. Just a reminder you will be doing you want to hold each one for about 10 seconds very firmly so it really sets into the fabric. This is greatly sped up so it doesn't look like I'm holding it for very all right, so the front is done I, as much as I want them to be. Now we'll go on to the back. Silver jeans already kind of have their back pockets decorated. So I think what I'm gonna do is just run some crystals along the S, uh, maybe do something up here. I haven't decided yet. Okay, so the back I ended up uh, doing halfway through the S like that and then doing the top so these are the crystals these are the metal and I like to go midway and up on the pocket just because it draws the eye up the butt instead of down. <laughs> 